Namaste. Hi. If the weather permits and you have the space, you might practice grounding techniques out in nature, such as this. I'm doing a deep squat. If this is too intense for your ankles, yeah, you can sit cross legs. Yeah. Just feel the earth, feel the floor, feel the land. Yeah. And squat position, this one, is a representation of the earth element in the body that helps. So in here, just observe. Yeah. Yeah. If the sky is not too intense for your eyes, you can just look up to the vastness of the sky, the trees, yeah, the birds you know, flying around you, the colors, you know, the land, the grass. And then you can close your eyes and just feel the breath. Yeah, and just rocking forward and back. If you're sitting, you can circle the hips around. And then breathe. And, and while sitting, you can lightly apply what we call the Ajvini Yamudra. So like you're closing and relaxing your perineum or the anal genital region. That's the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor. And you won't miss it. When you close it, you're going to feel like there's a mild contraction and relax, contract and relax, especially in the deep squat. Yeah, The Ajvini Mudra strengthens the pelvic floor, prevent um, the collapsing of the muscles there, yeah, yeah prolapse, yeah, so this helps us strengthen and keep the core, the lower core, the pelvic floor strong, yeah, you can keep the contraction for like five, four, three, breathing normally, two, one, and relax, and then relax for a few breaths, and then do it again. Contract. You can hold it for 10, 9. I'm holding it, yeah, but still breathing. Good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax and breathe. Ashvini Mudra is one of the essentials of Hatha Yoga in activating the nerves yeah, attached to the Muladhara Chakra. And this also... Uh, energizes the Shradeshana, where we hold the functions of our creative organs. Yeah. Let's do yeah, two more. Yeah. Clench and then hold, pull the core in, breathing normally. Now send four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, circle around. And then since you're sitting in the squat position, you promote the joints of the feet, the ankles, the toes, and they hold the nerves attached to your Sadishtana chakra. So this position can also enhance your reproductive potentials. You yeah. can uh, manage yeah, sexual dysfunctions. Yeah. For men, this could uh, stimulate the nerves attached to our reproductive organs, can increase your libido, can increase your you know, energetic or sexual potential. And also for the ladies. Yeah. And let's do one more. Breathing in. Contract. And, and then just keep breathing as you contract. But you can lightly let the head just circle around. Five. Keep contracting. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. All right. Good. And that's what? Yeah, five minutes. So from there, you're pressing your hands to your feet and then pressing up. And then folding, and then bending, and then squatting, and looking up, pressing through your hands, yeah, from the feet, yeah, bow the head, and then bending, and stretching, and looking. Inhale, push. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend. Exhale, open. Yeah, pushing. So we're doing what? Yeah, the bandhas. Yeah. Yeah, inhale, pull the core in, yeah, bowing, yeah, exhale, sitting, and looking, or oh, just breathing, yeah, normally. Huh? Two more. <clears throat> Pressing through the hands, yeah, that's important, and lifting, good. One more press, and this supports us, push, like you're using the hands to anchor your, your motion, and down and sit. Beautiful.
All right, push with the hands. And you can stand and just walk around your garden. Good.